James Kaufman, World News Report today, August 13th, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. G2 Moderate Geomagnetic Storm Watch for the 13th of August today. Now, I would agree that there could be a G2 geomagnetic storm, i.e. a CME inbound, that might impact the planet today, August 13th. CME influences that began on the 11th of August are likely to continue into the first half of the 13th of August. A coronal mass ejection is an eruption of solar material. When it arrives at Earth, a geomagnetic storm can result. Watches of this level are not uncommon. Moderate coronal mass ejection influences are likely to continue into the 13th of August. And I would say beyond that, it does look like they're expecting a very strong aurora borealis for this evening. Tonight's aurora forecast does look like it reaches into the central states in the U.S., and this was published yesterday, but G2 moderate geomagnetic storm is likely on the 13th of August as coronal mass ejection passage and influences, which began on the 11th of August, continue. Furthermore, people have been seeing Aurora Borealis and Australia Borealis for the last couple of nights, but a lot of them have been seeing severe Stevie. The severe geomagnetic storm of August 12th sparked widespread auroras in both hemispheres, with sightings in the USA as far south as Texas, Mississippi, and Arizona. Upon closer inspection, not all the lights were auroras. Many observers saw Stevie. Stevie are strong thermal emission velocity enhancements, or the pink ribbon of light seen in this photo. It looks like an aurora, but it's not. The pink glow is caused by hot 3,000 degrees Celsius ribbons of gas flowing through Earth's atmosphere faster than 13,000 miles per hour. Strong geomagnetic storms do a good job of setting these ribbons in motion. Sky watchers have been watching Stevie for centuries, not realizing what they were. Only recently have researchers started studying them as a phenomena distinct from auroras. God bless you and yours. Please share, subscribe, and always remember that anything is possible in the bizarro world.